Excellent games worth playing with friends in 2023. Greetings, as always, it's Game Like With You. In one of our recent videos, I promised to curate a collection of games for co-op play with friends. Well, here it is. A list of 11 cool co-op games to enjoy with friends right away. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do, and don't forget to hit the like button. So let's dive right in. Dungeons of Sundaria. This game tries to recreate the atmosphere of classic dungeons, wrapped in a modern envelope, introducing elements of the hack and slash genre. You can select one of five classes and races and then embark on an adventure with up to four friends online or even on one screen. Your mission is to traverse numerous unique dungeons filled with hundreds of enemies and dozens of bosses. The gameplay is simple. Traverse dungeons, fight enemies, gather a heap of loot, level up, and enhance your skills and equipment. There's a variety of weapons, armor, and accessories, and the game's overall design is quite impressive. It will undoubtedly keep you entertained for several evenings. Outlast Trials This is the third game from the Canadian studio Red Barrels, known for the Outlast series. This time, they've decided to go beyond the usual first-person horror and introduce a cooperative first-person horror. Now you can play not alone, but with up to three friends. The game's plot takes us to the era of the Cold War, where you are pulled into the Murkoff Corporation for testing advanced brainwashing techniques in a typical insane asylum. The gameplay consists of performing a series of tasks while avoiding encounters with enemies. The game offers various character classes and skill trees. But instead of classes, you have special devices that you upgrade to help you escape or even fight off the monsters. It's fun and the game is really cool, though there is some spooky presence throughout. Riders Republic. This game immerses you in the world of extreme sports. It's a multiplayer game similar to Ubisoft's Steep. Consider it an improved version. It includes cycling, skiing, snowboarding, wingsuit flying, and more. Some parts are about stunts and speed, freestyle, while others are about enjoying the scenery and getting an adrenaline rush as much as possible through a screen. In multiplayer, you can team up with friends or other players, participate in various competitions and events in which up to 50 players simultaneously race down slopes on different means of transportation. It all looks quite impressive, especially considering the good graphics, beautiful landscapes, and all that jazz. Highly recommended. Void Train. Void Train is a unique survival game where you become a crew member of an interdimensional express thrown into a mysterious world populated by various creatures. To be precise, multiple worlds, as your train, your lifeline, and survival hub races through the void into different dimensions. In these peculiar worlds, you encounter varied locations and a plethora of things that defy the laws of physics and logic. Your train serves as your main base and, incidentally, a means of movement through the void. You can construct, customize, and fill it with different objects ranging from storage and workbenches to decorations, tables, and even mini-games. The train also allows you to move between locations, learn new technologies, complete quests, battle enemies, and relax after excursions. It's comparable to games like Raft or Subnautica, albeit with a different aesthetic. Caliber. It's unquestionable that one of the best arenas for teamwork is team shooters, for example, Caliber. This third-person online game is dedicated to special forces units from around the world. It features dozens of soldiers from countries across Europe, America, Asia, etc., each with their gear, weapons, unique abilities, and varied skill development paths. Every operative has their role in the team, be it assault, support, medic, and so forth. The combination of fighters offers a myriad of interaction options in combat. There isn't a defined storyline or campaign. You just engage in battles, combating another equally capable team. Each round has its mission, its objectives, conditions, and difficulty levels. The gameplay, to be honest, varies a bit from similar shooters as it's not the individual skills of players that count, but rather coordinated teamwork. The key here is to employ tactics and assess the situation, not just run and gun. Small End, Survive the Wilds, is another fun survival game, especially in co-op. In this game, you find yourself in a world where everything around you is gigantic, and you're a small, nearly defenseless humanoid, fated to fight insects and marvel at the size of ordinary leaves and twigs. The gameplay is based on classic survival principles. Gather food, water, wood, stones, etc. Then build various structures, both on the ground and in trees, to live in. You can tame different insects which can then assist you in combat, or you can leap on them as if they were grasshoppers, or rather, real grasshoppers. There's an open world with different locations like forests, swamps, asphalt cracks, and so on. Each location has its flora and fauna, dangers and mobs. 
As you may have guessed, the game is quite similar to The Forest, or probably even more so to Grounded, because it also involves being shrunk down, and it offers just as much fun. Sons of the Forest Sons of the Forest is the sequel to the horror survival game, The Forest, which was released in early access at the beginning of this year. The open world awaits filled with dangers, humanoid monsters, aboriginal creatures, and we play as a member of an elite squad sent to find a missing billionaire and his family. Thankfully, we were dispatched on a helicopter, not a bathyscaph. But upon arrival, we find the island infested with bloodthirsty cannibals. Our quest is to unravel the island's secrets, build a base as much as possible, find a shotgun, and use it against the aboriginals. This is simply the best weapon in this game. Since its release in February of this year, there have been many major updates added to the game, around seven to be exact. And the latest one introduced a large, scary monster that swings a helicopter in its hands. It's sheer horror. Returnal. If you and your friends want to venture to an unexplored planet, the roguelike shooter Returnal is at your service. Yes, it has co-op. The game tells the story of an astronaut named Selena, who heads to a mysterious planet, but her ship crashes. Interestingly, each of her deaths brings her back to the wreckage of her ship, with the planet changing, offering new combinations of locations, enemies, and items. Thus, Selena has to fight through different biomes, battle alien monsters, and uncover the mysteries of the local civilization. There are no saves here. If you die, you start over, losing most of your inventory and progress. But thankfully, you retain some key upgrades and knowledge, so you have to adapt to the ever-changing world. Use whatever you come across and you'll find different weapons and artifacts that grant bonuses. It's a cool roguelike, almost ADA-grade game. Far Cry 6. You can also play Far Cry 6, which has recently been released on Steam. This is the sixth installment of the famous series from Ubisoft, taking us to the tropical island of Yara, where a guerrilla war is raging against dictator Anton Castillo. As in previous installments, it's an open world filled with adventures, action, and diverse gameplay opportunities. You can explore the island on foot, or using various means of transport, interact with the environment, use different items to create weapons, gadgets, and even make friends with NPCs. You play as Danny Rojas, a local resident of Yara who joins the Libertad movement to overthrow the local tyrant. There's not much more to elaborate on Far Cry 6. It's an opportunity to play a fun co-op game with a friend. You can invite a buddy, or find a partner online and play through the game together, feeling like a real gorilla. Hell Card. If you're a fan of cards, numbers, stats, and endless strategic immersion, then give Hell Card a try. This is a unique roguelike where you play as an invincible hero descending into a paper dungeon to fight against the local army. You can play solo by hiring bots or co-op with other players online. Either way, your goal is to get through as many levels as possible because again, this is a roguelike. But of course, if you die, you lose all your progress and start over. Gameplay is based on card battles, where not only your deck but also the placement of units on the battlefield is important. There are different cards attacking, defending, traps, spells, and so on. Each has its own energy cost and effects. The co-op adds a new level of strategy to the game, because you have to consider not only your own cards, but also your partner's cards. Plus, you can help each other by sharing energy, healing, and so on. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. This is a fantasy first-person shooter from the cool Borderlands universe. This game is based on the concept of the Borderlands 2 DLC where the hero played a tabletop role-playing game under the guidance of Crazy Tiny Tina. Here our Tina acts as the world ruler, also serving as the narrator and game master who can change the rules and events on the fly. Your task is to play by her rules, or more specifically, stop the local evil dragon lord who wants to seize the whole kingdom. Gameplay-wise, it's a shooter with a little bit of magic and melee mixed in. You can set enemies on fire with a fireball, freeze them with an icy breath, and just to be sure, gun them down with a machine gun. This game is fully adapted for co-op and playing with friends, and it will provide many meme moments just for your circle of friends. I hope you enjoyed the clip and therefore hit like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.